Bitcoin has taken a hit last month while gold is rallying. Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors, joins us today. He says that the crypto world is affecting all fund flows in the market, not just gold. Frank, welcome back to the show. It's great to be with you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well, Frank. Last time we spoke, you mentioned that exchanges for equities and metals need to modernize to catch up with crypto exchanges. Do you think cryptocurrencies will ultimately make markets more efficient here? I do. The fact that you can settle with no failed deliveries uh, with Bitcoin every 10 minutes. And I think the, the real currency is going to be Ethereum, uh, the model, because there's contracts and they settle every 10 seconds. So I think that that's where we're going to go. And it's a lot less expensive. Uh, there's been 2,700 patents filed by major financial institutions to try to streamline their back offices for this. So, Frank, let's talk about the recent rally we've been seeing in gold. Is this caused by fundamentals or outflows from cryptocurrencies into these more traditional safe havens? No, I don't believe this, that uh, people are leaving their Bitcoin uh, or buying their Bitcoin, leaving their gold. Uh, all my research is that the early adopters are actually gold bugs and they just diversified and adds, sold some bonds to buy cryptocurrency. What's the real issue, Daniela, is these new currencies that have attracted three and a half billion dollars and young people are rather open an account at Coinbase in five minutes rather than two days with a brokerage firm and trade these cryptocurrencies. Uh, Ethereum's up 300% in the past three months. Uh, that's more exciting than a lot of stocks. Uh, so I, I think that that's the real co competition is for micro and small cap stocks, not gold. What about equity markets, Frank? Uh, you know, since we last spoke, equities rallied on the Trump tax cut reform passing and the FUT and the Fed having hiked no more than expected. What are some catalysts you're looking at for a potential stock market correction here? Well, the stock market correction would be something external outside of uh, the U.S. that would trigger that, uh, I, I think, or a scandal with the president that has teeth to it outside of a lot of the negative rhetoric that keeps going on. Because remember, when Obama became the president, he injected $700 billion dollars and dropped the, uh, what they call FASB 1 by 7 rules, and the market took off. All the Republicans hate him so much, they missed the greatest rally. Now I have the same thing with the Democrats. They all hate Trump, and they're missing a spectacular rally. The best thing is to be a libertarian. And libertarians own gold, and they also don't care about the who's what political party. They care about government policies more than anything else. And the policies are very bullish for stocks. Uh, Trump talks down the dollar in a very subtle way. That's good for gold. That's good for global growth. Uh, we still have negative real interest rates. And the new head of the Fed, we're talking about looking at, at that the inflationary numbers are understated. The new models they're looking at are saying inflation is actually, we know, and you know, and all the listeners know, inflation is running much more than 2%. Uh, and so we're seeing that negative real interest rates is a true catalyst for gold to trade substantially higher. Uh, so finally, uh, Frank, just to wrap here, we started a brand new year. What's your feeling here as investors uh, continue to play this yellow metal scenario here? Uh, how do you see gold set up? Where do you see it he headed? Outside of people like yourself, Daniela, that carry this beautiful message, the general media is negative towards gold, even though gold had double digit numbers last year. And even though in the past 17 years, it doubled the performance of the S&P 500. So we have to dismiss just the negative general media narrative towards bullion. And I think we're going to see more investors wake up to it's an important part of their portfolio. I think it trades easily. Another double digits this year. Remember last year we talked about hitting $1,300 an ounce. I think it goes to $1,500 an ounce this year. Frank, thanks so much for your thoughts. We'll speak soon. Happy investing. And thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.